I have to play bad cop all the time. Like this morning. I want to pick the guys up and say, hey Phil, here's a here's a bagel. I got you a donut. Let's ride and talk about school. Not, hey Phil, you need to wake up because I've been sitting out front for 20 minutes. And Jalen, don't act like you're you're innocent either. Innocent. You were just as late as he was. God. I have Jaheem uh, lock himself out. This is my life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the man you just saw, the man you just saw on the screen, his name is Matt Hanna. He is the founder of Next One Up, and we have him on the phone right now. Welcome, Matt. Thanks, fellas. Thanks for having me on. Um, Wow. That's, that's you know, that's the first word that, that, that comes to mind. Wow. I mean, this, this short documentary sums up a lot, but I'm sure that the day-to-day -day experience of – uh, dealing with these youths and and really affecting change in their lives. I mean, I, I'm sure that five minutes doesn't doesn't even do that justice. Can you just tell Not us either. a little bit about um, about how Next One Up even came to be? Sure. Yeah. It's it's you know for me, um, you know, I started as a teacher in the city for quite a while and and spent 10, 10 12 years in administration and teaching and especially more importantly coaching. And, and for me. Uh, this developed as a, just a very small group of young guys that I, you know, I looked at as guys that, you know, stopped by my classroom, kept in touch with me. Um, and I would say in the summertime, uh, you know, let's meet up, play basketball. Let's go grab lunch. Let me talk a little bit. And what came, the big wow for me, you know, this is 10 years ago was uh, what little opportunity a lot of these boys had in the summer. So it was just me rolling the ball out of the basketball court when we would play. And, and uh, so I, I didn't start this thinking, you know, I, I remember I still literally Googled, you know, what a nonprofit is. I still have a copy <laughs> of Nonprofit for Dummies. And, um, you know, I actually have that I, I book. It's, it's wonderful read. And it's, uh, for me, was, uh, you know, budgeting, all this other stuff. And I was a history teacher. So um, for me, it was really relationship-based. And, and um, when we served a few kids from my own school, I, I you know, kids said, hey, can I bring a friend? And so you could see where that's going. This is 2008, 2009. And it really wasn't until about two to three years ago when Matt and I first met that I really had to make a decision, keep teaching or take the risk of, of going out on my own and trying to fundraise to, to build something I really believed in. And now, you know, seven years or so later, um, I, I couldn't be happier. And, 